Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will look at numbers up to 19 and we will do this for addition. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. We have 12 plus something equals 16. So 12 plus something equals 16. Now there's quite a few methods we can use, so let's go through them. We're going to start with the dot method. I'm going to rewrite the question so that we can do some workings. 12 plus something equals 16. Okay, now we're going to start at number 12 Okay, and we're going to end at 16. So above the box, I'm going to draw the dots starting from number 12. So let's do this. 12, we've got 13, 14, 15, 16, and stop, because we have got to our answer of 16. Now how many dots have we drawn? Well, let's count them. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4. The answer is 4. 12 plus 4 equals 16. Now the dot method is very useful if you're doing this for the first few times and you're dealing with small numbers. Okay, we're going to move on to the second method which is the number line. Now, as you know a number line is from is a line with numbers starting from any number we wish and ending at any number. So let's draw our number line from here. Let's draw it right the way across. Ours is going to start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we keep going. and 20. So that is our number line from 0 to 20. Okay, let's have a look at the question. Again, we've got 12 plus something equals 16. So the first step is let's find 12 on the number line. Can you find 12? It's over here. Let's put a nice big dot above number 12. Now what number do we have to end at? It's after the equal sign, it's 16. So let's draw a circle, a red circle around number 16. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from 12, the blue dot, and go all the way to 16. And let's see how many jumps we have to take. We've got to take one, count with me, one, two, three, and four. So how many jumps were there? We've got one, two, three, and four. So the answer is 4. Now notice that the dot method, we got to the answer 4, and the number line, we got to the answer 4. Two different methods, same result. Okay, now let's look at our third method. We've got head and fingers, also known as counting. Now this method is useful. If you're doing mental arithmetic, you do not have any pen or paper. Okay, let's write the question again so we can do some workings. We've got 12 plus something equals 16. 12 plus something equals 16. Now what I want you to do is to say there is 12 on my head. Okay, put a hand on your head, say 12 on my head. And we're going to hold out fingers. So at the moment you should have your hand out closed no fingers showing, and we're going to count until we get to 16. So I want you to repeat after the, after me. There is 12 on my head, on my hand. We count one. I'm going to draw the fingers over here, okay, as lines, and I want you to hold out the fingers one by one. So 12, hold out one finger. That's 13. Hold out a second second finger. 14, and keep going. 15, 16. 
so you should have a few fingers sticking out at the moment. Let's count how many you should have. One, so count the fingers. Two, three, four. The answer is four. Okay, it really is that simple. Okay, and that's very good for mental arithmetic. So let's just have a look at the three methods we used. We've got four using the dot method. For the number line, we also had four as, an as the answer. And for the head and fingers method, we also had four. So three different methods, same result. You can use any method you wish. So that is how we find the missing number with numbers up to 19 for addition.